yo guys what is up zorin here with a uh, quick quick note i um for some reason my my stupid streamlabs obs decided to change my set my audio settings i don't know why that happens i don't know why it does that but it changed my settings and because of that i i, I have to do a voiceover on my on my videos for the next two videos because of this so because of that i am going to be talking to basically you guys while editing fantastic anyways guys so i'm bringing you this team that i saw james Beck using real quick with a iron leaves as the showcase mon so i'm not going to talk too much about it because i don't have a lot of time because of the whole you know i kind of have a time limit with each one but uh we have an urshifu incineroar and a whimsicott with Mariah on stuff nothing too fancy here besides light screen on the whimsicott Mariah has dazzling gleam and, and fairy terra with choice specs you normally don't see that unless it's a very defensive set and you also have iron hands here with sword stands protect and electric seed which is one of the main things here now this iron hands actually ends up doing a lot of work for me and you'll be seeing in the in the in the, in the battles and iron leads does didn't really get to do much eat <laughs> i'll be honest iron leaves doesn't really get to do much this this video but it's not that it was it was useless it's just because we just kind of won without it so that was kind of the thing with, with that went along with it but with that said um yeah i'm gonna be doing a voiceover on my videos on my battles because this isn't something that i usually do i don't really like commentating after i do my battles but it might be nice to do this time around just because there are some things sometimes where i make some mistakes and being able to talk about them while in game would be nice for you guys just to kind of make you guys understand why i went for the plays and why i shouldn't have done those plays and it's also a nice learning experience for me as well so with that said guys hope you guys enjoy the video make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification because it does help a lot it lets me get my chicken nuggies and i love my chicken nuggies and also i'll be putting the the rental in the description and the creator everything all the info in the description below for you guys to you know do your you know if you guys want to use the team with that said guys yeah this is going to be a good practice for me as well for commentating i am not the best commentator so we'll see what what happens but with that said guys hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you guys again and yeah this is i guess just me talking of my my games all right peace out for now let's get into the next into the first game actually all right guys before we begin i just want to say real quick that there's not going to be any audio here so i'll probably put some music here for you guys to listen to in the background because there's not going to be any audio due to the whole issue with the whole obs thing it probably was because of an update or whatever i don't know but just wanted to let you guys know there is not going to be any in-game audio because none of it got captured right not, not even my my voice so you guys are not going to get to hear me laughing my maniacally, maniacally when i make a dumb greedy play in the in in this i think it's this battle but with that said uh we we, we go with whimsica mirai on iron hands and uh iron leaves here right iron leaves obviously because i wanted to showcase it so that was kind of the whole point of it now the, the thing about this iron leaves though is that it's mainly there not only for obviously you know to get the leaf blades and side blades going but mega horn being like the unique thing here on iron leaves mega horn is to most likely catch off those shadow riders and those ice riders off guard i mean you have fire terra to kind of like offset the whole shadow rider thing right but it's mainly there for shadow right like shadow riders not ice riders right because of the whole mega horn being able to hit it for super effective i hope it's super effective but i'm not sure i actually forget what bug gets resisted by i even explained this in the video if, if it only like happened but yeah we we go in we're gonna go straight into the battle here and you'll basically get to see iron has kind of go off into this into this battle because he it did go off in this battle like wow I, I was i was really skeptical at first i'm using an iron hands with sword stance instead of you know the usual setup just because i'm more comfortable running the assault vested ver variant already but they're gonna be running a whimsicott i mean i'm uh, sorry a glamora iron bundle lead here against my iron hands and my and my whimsicott so my plan here is just to go for light screen and then just go for sword stance because I, I didn't think i would need tailwind here right off the bat like I, I didn't really think oh well i think light screen just just more beneficial because my iron hands is trying to set up they're both special attackers and they probably expect f fake out somewhere so I, I was correcting that assumption and they go for protect because yeah you see an iron hands you're gonna think they're going for you're gonna go for fake out and he does go for a meteor beam here i know i remember him going for a meteor beam yeah he goes for a meteor beam 
just to get the uh, plus one, which was interesting for me because a, a Drain Punch probably would have... Uh, I guess he wouldn't have done much. But yeah, he, he does protect and go for a Meteor, meteor Beam onto my Whimsicott. My Whimsicott here takes it like a champ, which is completely fine for me. T thankfully, I don't. I guess he went for the Meteor Beam for the plus one, right? I was thinking, why didn't he just go for Sludge Bomb? He would have one-shot it, right? So here I'm thinking, oh, maybe I should go for Tailwind now. But then I'm like, why don't I just Encore it? into protect which was my first blunder i shouldn't have done that because there was no reason to i should have went for the tailwind here because i do need the speed control and this would have allowed me to just one shot the the funny glimora over here with a drain punch thanks to the plus two but i opted for you know what i'm gonna go for the greedy play and go for the encore which was not the correct play but we do do a ton of damage to this glimora doesn't one shot anyways so it wasn't too big of a deal but now we're in this awkward position where not only do we get poisoned because of the spikes, because I forgot about the Toxic Tempris, but now we're in Fake Out range, so we can't even switch out the Whimsicott. We couldn't even switch it in unless we switch it in, um, like, we switch it in into some uh, when we get KO'd. That's the only way this Whimsicott would work. So we go for another source then. This is where I was laughing maniacally because... <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm just gonna go for a greedy play. I'm gonna go for Swords Dance because I'm not scared of this Demora. And what is what is Hands gonna do, right? There's no reason for to be scared of it. I have Light Screen up. There's no there's no real reason to be scared. Maybe I'll go for Spiky Shield and I can get a free Swords Dance. So a plus four Hands would be very very scary for it, for them. So I go for, I opt in for the plus four and. As you can see, he did go for the fake out onto the Whimsicott, which is expected. I honestly expected that. Like, why not? Why wouldn't you go for the for the fake out on the nine HP Whimsicott? That makes sense. So here he goes, Source Dance. Like I said, the the Gleam doesn't do enough damage to me, so I go and swap into my Miraid on here because I wanted the terrain up. This does give it to the Iron Hands, but see, I'm here in my in my mind. I'm thinking, well, I can just go for Dazzling Gleam. I could tear out Dazzling Gleam to ensure that the Glimora goes down and I can Drain Punch the Iron Hands and that should be enough to just get a double KO, right? That's that's my game plan. It, it sounds it sounds correct to do. I could have gotten into my my Iron Knees instead, but I thought, you know what? Let's not play with that because Glimora is still alive and Glimora could just go for a Poison move and take it out. So my item was definitely here the correct play. Now, I was thinking I should just go for Volt Switch onto the uh, Glimora, but then I'm like, no, there's no reason to. Like, why, why should I do that? I can just... That's when I thought, yeah, I can just double double KO right here with the Dazzling Gleam, Terra. And a Dream Punch, right? Even if he Terra's, that's fine, because I'm at plus four attack. So why not? Might as well do it. And plus, I'm boosted. I, I didn't check again. You know, when I'm doing this voiceover, I, didn't, I, was, I was going to check right when I was talking too. But I didn't, because I'm dumb. I'm a monkey. But yeah, I go for the Dazzling Gleam here. And then here's, here's the surprise. Here's a little surprise, and I was kind of... A little upset here. <laughs> I had to say it in the in the video that you won't get to hear. I'm a little upset because I was just like, "What? You're this Terra and Fairy Terra? Yep, he's Fairy Terra. What hands runs Fairy Terra? This guy's hands. They're usually either grass, fire, or water. One of the one of those three. They're usually one of those. But this one decided, you know what? I want to be a cute little fairy princess, and that's what he is—a fairy princess." he was able to take that like like a champ because let's be real he goes for the drain punch it doesn't do much thanks to the electric seed uh boosting our defense from earlier which is the other reason i, I needed the uh the terrain up because i wanted the, the defense boost and as you can see that definitely would have killed the <laughs> the iron hands if we just didn't get a resisted terra but it is what it is it is pokemon they they will have weird terras sometimes that you usually won't see. I mean, where do you see sword stands, Iron Hands? Never. So I shouldn't be complaining, right? <laughs> I'm also using, I'm also using a different type of Iron Hands, so I can't be talking. So he goes into his Ogre Pond here. Now my idea here is just to keep going for Dazzling Gleams because there's no reason why not. I outspeed both of them. Now I throw in a KO on the Hands. So there's really no reason not to go for this play because I am in no danger right now. At least that's what I'm thinking, right? Because there's no reason why I shouldn't just go for this play. And so I go for the Dazzling Gleam here. And I think I go... Well, I forgot what I went for on the... Uh, the yeah, I, went for, I did for go for Protect. Okay, I was, I was going to say, did I go for Drain Punch? No, I went for Protect. I did go for Protect here because I wanted to keep my, my Iron Hands a little bit safe. Just to kind of give it more pressure into the next going into the next turn. 
because I do I did feel like he wanted to take out my hands in this in this turn, right? So his hands goes down thanks to the dazzling gleam, and now his ogre pawn is in range of a KO. <laughs> so you can see why this this is kind of really nasty because it's putting so much like this iron hands is putting so much pressure into this guy because he's scared of the plus four, and then nice gleam does wear off here though. So I'm a little bit more concerned here. Now this is where I sh think I kind of misplayed because I feel like my win count was definitely this Maridon and I kind of had to bank on Iron Hands living a Kajo or a Ornich, whatever he was deciding to do because I needed to take out this 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 Pinguino, right? I needed to take out Iron Bundle so he goes for Protect here though and I get the um, I do get the Dazzling oh yeah he goes for Spike and Shield never mind I forgot he double protects here does double protect here and he, and he goes for I go for gleam and then I just go for an attack because I really just want this pinguino out of the way right that's 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 what I need to get rid of I could get pinguino out of the way or upon kind of just loses to the uh to the iron leaves in the back that we that like I told you didn't really get to do much because this iron has kind of went in so he does double protect and it's mainly because of, I, I think it's for the poison which makes sense it does put me in range this is where I, I was getting scared though but I did go for Dazzling Gleam and I do go for the the the, the, um, the Drain Punch, I believe. I, I think I go for the Drain Punch here. I don't remember. I just remember that I go for the Dazzling Gleam where I should have... No, I'm pretty sure I go for the Drain Punch because like I said, I wanted to be aggressive here. And I felt like that was my only way out. And this is why I thought I should just switch into, into Iron Leaves here because... Maraida needs to live here and I need to just bring it in into the hydro pump and then I'll be faster than the um, than the ogre pond because I'm a speed iron leaves but fortunately for me I he does miss a hydro pump and that's how I ended up just winning this right off the bat and iron leaves doesn't get to do anything but that's why I thought I think I think I should have went into iron leaves here to guarantee the win so I definitely th threw a little bit here but I got bailed up by the hydro pump miss but that's why Iron Bundle isn't being played, because the chance of missing Hydro Pump is very, very high. So, yeah, that's going to happen. Well, either way, GG to the opponent. And let's just gotta move on to the next one and see who we, what we are dealing with. Okay, guys, here we are in the second battle against a Ice Rider team. Now, the, the thing here that scared me the most was the Smurgle. I didn't even pay attention to the... To the, to the uh, to Electabuzz to be honest. I, I just saw Smurgle Spore follow me and, uh, and fake out and I'm just like, oh, I'm terrified of this thing. Where do I even go? What do I do here? But uh, looking at his team, I was like, oh, you know you know who looks real good into this? Iron Hands. <laughs> Iron Hands looks really good into this. So if I could, if I could play around the Iron Hands, I can, uh, I can do really well. And not only that, remember, Iron Hands is known for the fake outs. So people are very, very likely to go and try to get out of the fake out so i think i decide here to lead incineroar and iron hands because this is technically double fake out pressure but they don't know that they don't know i'm, I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna do that right they don't know i'm, I'm going for that so i go in i opt in for the, the iron hands and the, and the incineroar read and we go into this now i'm fully expecting here to go be put to sleep or in some way shape or form so I'm going to just go, my, my first turn I decided, you know what, I'm just going to go Fake Out onto the Smurgle and I'm just going for the Swords Dance because I need to boost up this Iron Hands up. That is the play. If once this Iron Hands is boosted up, this thing is just going to just run run them over, right? That is the plan. I do get the Intimidate off into nothing because they have own tempo on this Smurgle. Not Moody, they have own tempo. Like I said, ladder is crazy sometimes. So we go ahead. We don't think, we just go Sword Dance, Fake Out, that's all we need to do. Nothing else. Get that Sword Dance up, get that plus two attack, we need to just get this bulky behemoth up. Thankfully they do go for the Protect, they do follow for the bait. And I just go for the Fake Out. Nice and simple, now the Sash is broken, if they have Sash. Uh, at this point I don't know what they have, because that Smurgo has his own tempo. Who knows what that thing has. So we got the Sword Dance off. And now here's where I'm just like, all right, what do I do third two? Because now I'm going to get Spore to death, right? So I opt out. And I'm thinking, hmm, should I just go for like a U-turn out? Should I just like Flare Blitz out? 
I like what do I do like and so you know what I just go for the flare blitz here because I think they're just gonna try to go for my for my iron hands with that spore and he actually just goes for follow me which is interesting because he really does want this Trukrama which is completely fine for me but we sadly do not get the KO but he goes for the trick room which is actually good for us here because Iron Hands, funny enough, is faster than this Ice Rider under Trick Room. His his is actually the slower, the slower Ice Rider in Trick Room. So I'm actually faster with the hands. I didn't know this yet though, but it was good for us because now Smurgle usually is is faster than these two. So now I'm not in any danger of a spore so i just decided you know what i'm just gonna go for um i think i go for u-turn here just to kind of like get out into my maridon so i can get the electric seed going because i'm not gonna get hit i'm not in danger of maridon getting hit by the glacial lands right i'm not i'm not in any danger for for it at all and i go for a drain punch here and that's when i you know this is where i realized that i'm i don't actually i don't even think i realize it still but i am faster than it as you can see I am faster than it in Trick Room. I think I, I, I realized it like another turn after this, but I'm faster than it under Trick Room. I do go for the knockoff here because I wanted to get rid of the 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 clear amulet though, because that is very important. I still, honestly, I don't know why he's going for Glacial Lances. In hindsight, he should have just gone for the High Horsepowers. Because obviously High Horsepower here kind of threatens both mons, right? And I wasn't even thinking about it. I was thinking Glacial Lance, Glacial Lance, because that's all they, they know how to press is Glacial Lance. That's exactly what he's doing. He's just hitting Glacial Lances, even though there's two. There's one thing that resists Glacial Lance, and the other thing that is neutral, but is really tanky, right? It's a really tanky uh, Mon, so you should just go for the times 2 at that point. So he goes for another Follow Me. He has his, his other Follow Me Mon. This is where I was saying, oh, I didn't really think about the Electabuzz. But he still goes for a Glacial Lances, which is very, very odd for me. Because if he went for a high horse rider, this, this turn would have been... Wouldn't have been the worst, but it would have been um, much different. Because now I don't have an Intimidate option that I would have had in, in, in the turn later. Because I do bring it in and the Intimidate does come in handy later. So now we're opting into a Armor Ride on here. Just so we can get our Electric Terrain going. Because it's very, very important to get it, get it up. Now, thinking about thinking back at it now, if I was scared of the spore, why didn't I just go my right on? <laughs> I could have just done that the, net, the, the second turn, right? Second turn, I could have done that. Uh, but oh well, that doesn't matter. I definitely could have gone for the for the uh, electric terrain. I guess it, it, it's just the fear of losing our armor right on, right? That would have been really really bad. But yeah, here we just go for. A simple, you know, I'm just gonna get the heck out of here. There's there's no reason to stay in. I am I am completely safe here. Just get me out, put it in Zinroar. Get that Intimidate 1, that's why I did the knockoff thing earlier in the match. Well, more like the last turn. So I can get an Intimidate off it and make it even less of a problem for my Iron Hands. Because like I said, Iron Hands here is basically the winner of this right now. Right? And like I said, I am faster. This, I think this is the turn where I figured out, hey, wait, I'm faster than, than Ice Rider. I'm not scared of this thing. I'm faster than it. What am I What am I terrified about? And we just go ahead and one-shot the Electabuzz and get it out of here. And we're pretty much sitting nice with this with this uh, Iron Hands, right? This Iron Hands is doing a phenomenal job. And he does get a cheeky crit onto this Iron Hands. Let me just point out, that was a crit on the Iron Hands. And it managed to live. Like... Iron Hands is a monster, but I, I feel like that crit did matter a lot because it, it kind of makes me more more scared of the of the Earth Saluna here because of the Earth powers. But at this point, I don't think this guy knows what tap matchups are because he hasn't got for an Earth move in like 20 years. So at this point, I'm thinking, you know what? I need to let Incineroar go. Trick Room is about to expire. Uh, Incineroar did its job. It doesn't need to be here anymore, right? So I'm just checking stuff here, but I don't, really, I, I don't know why I wasn't even checking. I really could have just gone for a Protect here. I did go for a Drain Punch at the end of this. He does go for the Protect. Oh yeah, I had a Fake Out turn too. I completely forgot about that. That's why he, he double protected, which is completely fine, yeah. 
completely forgot about this turn. Yeah, I was already thinking what turn ahead. But yeah, I, I forgot I had a fake out turn. I even forget in game that I had a fake out turn. And then I realized it like a little later. I'm like, oh, wait, what am I scared of? Just fake out and drain punch. If he's, if he's greedy, oh, well, I mean, he loses his, his bear. His bear is really the only issue now. So now, now I'm like, oh, okay, well, I'm just going to take out your, your horse now. I'm going to protect because why not? I'm faster now. There's no room for you to trick room. There's absolutely no way for you to trick room. Let me just take your horse and I'll be on my way, right? That is the plan. That is exactly what I want. And I was getting really mad here because there's one, he got his crit. He's playing Ice Rider. He's playing Calyrex Ice Rider. He gets a crit. Then he gets a double protect right after that crit. He gets a double protect. So I'm just over here fuming because he, he gets a double protect on his dang horse. When he's playing Calyrex Horse Rider, like granted, I'm playing Rhino, but like, come on, man, it's Calyrex. Nobody likes those son of a gun horse riders. And then he goes for Hyper Voice and takes out my Incineroar, which is completely fine. I need I, all I wanted was mainly to just switch into Rhydon. If the horse went down, great, because then he has to deal with horse and um, I mean, then he has to deal with my Rhydon and my Iron Hands. But one thing I was scared of was if I was slower than Cersei Luna because of how I was faster than Ice Rider under Trick Room and I always forget my, my base speeds with these three mods specifically. So I, I just, you know, go, uh, you know what, I'm just going to go for the Terra Dazzling Gleam. There's no reason not to, right? I'm pretty sure I go for the Dazzling Gleam. Oh, do I just go for Dazzling Gleam? Oh, I just go for Dazzling Gleam. I mean, yeah. I mean, do I have to Terra? I don't know. Not really. Well, I do Terra though, don't I? Yeah, I do Terra. No, he, he Terra's. Never mind, he Terra normal. I thought I saw myself Terra, but I don't. I don't Terra, I don't need to anyways. Not a big deal. Because remember, we have Iron Eve yet again in the back. <laughs> There's a trend going on where four Iron Eve's. It's in the back. It's in the back, okay? It's, 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 it's back there. So we both switch out. And then we... Uh, we switch into Iron Leaves. We don't even stay for the Dazzling Gleam. That's why I didn't tear out because I ended up just bolt switching out. And I was also like fuming here, like I saying, "Oh, if he gets a triple triple protect, I swear I'm gonna I'm gonna yell at Green Freak because why is he getting a triple protect? That's not fair. He's playing Calyrex. That's not fair. But either way, yeah, we go into Iron Leaves, and then we just drain punch and win the game there from from there because we were faster than him on, outside of Trick Room. So yeah, the the, the speed the speed tiers were kind of weird here, but in the end, it ended up working out. And it's another GG for me. So yeah, second win with the with the Iron Eaves. Not really contributing, just kind of sitting there pretty. All right, let's move on to the next game. All right, guys, here we are in game three. Okay, so we're against Blythe or Bleeth. I don't know what what they what they are, but they're running a Kyogre team, and this one was a little bit weird too. Honestly, this one was a little bit weird with what his his plays were. I think they were more questionable than my plays, but uh, he, I, I decided, you know what? Iron Hands looks really good here again. Not going to lie, but then again, there's a Lando, so not really. So we, you know what? We decided, you know what? We're opting out into Iron Leaves here because Iron Leaves can actually do a lot into like most of this team. So iron, this was this time it was iron leaves time to shine, and we actually hold iron out, iron hands out, because hands as good as it is, I feel like Lando always comes into this game, which it does. It does end up coming into this game. Spoiler alert. But other than that, like iron hands, didn't really look good into anything, but besides the Kyogre and the Tornadoes, so I, I didn't like iron leaves looks pretty much better just because it still hits Kyogre and Anderis while also being a, a neutral like pick into like the rest of his team besides the Overclaw obviously because of the gunshots right so here we go this is where I'm thinking all right I'm gonna detect here with the Urshifu just to kind of see if they terrestrialize here or something they could terrestrialize Overclaw you never know and I'm fully um, here. I'm fully expecting Whimsicott to go down. That that was that was kind of the whole reason I'm detecting here is because I expect Whimsicott to just go down, turn one after I get Tailwind up, and that's all I really wanted was Tailwind up. I just needed speed control. That's what I wanted. Speed control. If I can get my speed control going, 
and I am set. That's that's all I wanted. So I get my detect going, and then he goes for the gunk shot onto who? Who do you think he goes for? The whimsy cut? No, he goes for the uh, protecting Urshifu for some reason. He he decided, you know what? I don't like you, Urshifu. Let me just gunk shot you. When the whimsy cut was right there. You, you never know if this thing is sashed or cover cloak, so you should always go for the uh, gunk shot onto the Whimsicott, especially if you're gonna go for Ice Beam anyways. Urshifu doesn't really threaten you as badly here. And a Protect is pretty likely unless I'm Choice Carp, right? I guess he doesn't know I'm Choice Carp, so I, that's why he goes for the, the Urshifu. But in hindsight though, one thing that, that did make me wonder here, well at least now I'm wondering about it, is why was I faster than Overquill? Oh no, you know what? It does make sense. Oh, for some reason I was thinking that thing was scarfed, but it's not. No, no, it makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, I'm, I'm under Tailwind, of course. I, I didn't forget about the Tailwind I just literally talked about. It's just, I, for some reason, thought it was scarfed. Like, it had double speed. Like, it had two different, um, places where it got speed. So now he goes for the Water Spout. Which, you know, I was just pres trying to preserve my Sash from that Water Spout, and I was full on expecting when to got to go down the first turn. So thankfully I was actually able to get a light screen up, which is really really nice because a lot of his team is special. So the light screen is very very much appreciated here. And this Erishifu is actually a monster in this battle as well. Thankfully I'm, I'm super happy I, I brought it. Now here's where I was really confused because he brings up Volcarona and I'm over here thinking well it's Volcarona, Rage Powder, right? That's what's gonna happen right now? So I'm over here thinking well Kyogre has no reason to Terra now because Volcarona is here, I'm expecting it to just go for a Grass Terror Rage Powder. That's honestly the best play he could go for. It covers both my Mons because I have, I either go for an Electric move, at least in his eyes, I should be going for Electric moves or Dragon moves or and, and Surging Strike like or, or Close Combat, right? Because I'm trying to get to Kyogre. Kyogre is like the big threat here, right? But no, he um he protects the Volcarona. I I don't know why. He he just he just decides, you know what? I'm I'm double protecting cuz he also protects the Kyogre. And I'm just like, "Why? I'm an Urshifu. Did you forget there's an Urshifu on the field? Brother, it doesn't matter what what I clicked on Urshifu. You something was going to take that either damage or or get flat out KO'd and so I hit the Kyogre and I'm just feeling super good right now because now that now that Kyogre can't water spout I'm just going you know what I'm just gonna surging strike now and dazzling gleam there's no reason not to like what is he gonna do now I'm in a perfect situation here because I still have tailwind I'm pretty sure I still have tailwind for one turn so this should just guarantee the the, the KO on the on the funny on the funny well but he decides to go for Lando and I'm, this is where I'm like super confused what he's doing now because why would he want to like risk the damage off onto his Lando? He, there's never a reason to switch. You would never switch there. That's that's a very silly switch because in in hindsight, I, which I didn't realize until much much later, he uh, he could be scarfed on this Lando, which could be really really bad since Tailwind just ran out, right? So in my eyes, he should have just let both Mons go. He still had rain, and I don't think Aqua Check KOs Lando at max health. I don't know. I'm not sure, but he does. He does opt for a Terra Ground here, right? So that's what I'm saying. Aqua Jet. I don't know if it KOs here, and I don't know. I think I think his his throw was where he went for the Volcarona. He didn't. He didn't Terra Grass it. I think Terra Grass, we might not even have Terra Grass. That, that might be the other reason, right? But I think if he had Terra Grass, he definitely should have went for it. Because now he has protection for this Lando. Once Kyogre goes down. And he's completely fine, right? He can he, If he's scarfed, that could be a really big problem. But he's not. He, it doesn't matter now because I'm Aqua Jetting him into the ground. There's, there's no reason for me like to be scared anymore. Because he kind of just like threw out all his resources for no reason. He double protected for what in front of Nurshifu. He he um he swapped his Landorus and it took a big chunk for no reason. So there's a, there was a lot of weird plays here. 
and I'm still confused why he would go for those plays, but Urshifu basically cleaned cleaned up, and again, Iron Knees didn't do anything. It's just in the back, chilling. So yeah, but with that said, let's just go straight to the uh, outro now. All right, guys, that's gonna be the end of the video. Like I said, I have to do a voiceover for these videos. I still have another video. I'm gonna be doing another voiceover, but what can you do, right? When when your PC is just silly and doesn't want to work the way it's supposed to. I think it was because of an update. I think every time there's an update on my PC, it messes with my 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 settings. I now need to check Discord to see if it messed with my settings because it does mess up like all my audio settings for some reason. By the way, guys, this is the team. Uh, thank you, James Beck, for showcasing it. Thank you to the creator. Like I said, I'm going to put all his stuff in the description below for you guys. With, the, with that said, just make sure to like and subscribe if you guys want more VGC content. Let me know what you guys thought about this way of, this style of commentating, if you guys enjoyed it. Because if you guys enjoyed it, I don't mind doing it again. But with that said, guys, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!